didn't go to the gym today because my arm is just hurting but I think it is a little bit improving so uh, I guess I'm just gonna have to wait it out a little I might be going for leg day tomorrow so hopefully everything is alright so I'm gonna go to the doctors now Right now with Mama Chan, eating some HK Cafe. I ordered ham, macaroni, sausage, and two eggs. And she ordered ham, sausage, and two eggs with butter toast. And we are at Ming's. Ham and macaroni. It's usually sit in a chicken broth. When I was little, me and my brother would always try to get the yolk separated from the egg white. And we would try to slowly cut around the yolk before it bursts. And if you get to eat the yolk right before um, it bursts, then you basically win. And it's like the hardest thing ever. And right now I don't even have a full knife to do this. But I think I'm doing okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. If it bursts, this will be a fail on camera. Mm. Mm. Nailed it. Right now, I'm visiting the doctor. Hey, um, just gonna pick up the menu. Okay. Alright, okay, thanks so much. New Burgundy Ultra Boost 3.0s in my hand right now. I'm gonna be doing an unboxing video of this today. Chinese herbal medicine, does this shit work? For now, I think the medicine did give me a little bit more strength in my arm. If I were to lift it up, it's not as painful as it was before. So it definitely feels like it is working just the tiniest bit. And right now it looks like I got a man bra on. What's up guys, welcome to Billy Visuals. If you're new to the vlog, welcome to the vlog. I know I've been talking a lot about my broken shoulder and I know you guys are having enough of my personal life. So why don't I just show you guys something a little bit informative on a certain product that I bought recently. And it's this one product and this one tool is the most important tool that any other videographer slash photographer would need on a daily. And this is the camera bag. A camera bag is one of the most closely related tools that a videographer slash photographer really needs and we always don't know what kind of functions we need so I'll show you what kind of functions I need and what kind of features will help me as a traveling videographer and as well as how I'm comparing my old bag to my new bag and whether or not it was worth the money for me to purchase it. Okay so I'll show you guys that unboxing right now. This is the Low Pro 450 All Weather. The reason why I got this backpack is because I needed a backpack that had side access zippers, okay? These side access zippers allow me to be able to access my camera at any time, at any moment, to be able to take my camera out while I'm traveling, to get my camera out right away like this and grab it and then close it back up and I can wear it 
like this, swing it over, open up the side, grab my camera, and then pull it back in. The other thing is, this backpack is really high quality. The straps here, they do not bend or dismorph after a long time. At least from the build, it looks like that. This is a hard shell top, so if anything falls on it, it won't be affected. Um, and you can also open up the top. And in here, you can put anything you want up here. You can put SD cards here as well. And if you want, you can also access your DSLR up here. Or if you think this is more convenient, then putting your camera on the side. The more exciting part about this backpack is being able to access all your things at once. What I mean is, in the back, there's a zipper that unlocks the whole back, the whole compartment of the whole backpack. And they unzip the top portion, and this entire compartment opens up. What does that mean? That means that you can access your equipment right away. That means you can access all your equipment right away and be able to take out camera, lenses, and other equipment. This is a big plus for me because I want to be able to flip my bag over, grab some stuff, and take it back out and zip it back up and go. And if I have to go inside a small pocket and try to figure out whether or not that certain item is there or whether or not I can reach that item, that's already very time consuming. The whole point is to be able to have quick access, have portability, and have maximizing your capacity. And this is a great way to maximize your capacity. I usually carry one DSLR, one point and shoot, and three lenses. And having this space definitely will be able to put three lenses, a point and shoot, a DSLR, as well as hard drives and other items in my backpack. In order to be able to edit on the go, you want to be able to have your computer with you at all times. And this backpack does not slouch on that at all because it actually has its own laptop compartment. Right, This is the laptop compartment. You can store a 15 inch MacBook Pro. This is my 15 inch MacBook Pro. But if you have anything bigger than a 15 inch MacBook Pro, you will not be able to stuff this in. 15.4 inch a laptop should be the most you should fit in this laptop compartment. Having a good backpack is very important for any traveling videographer slash photographer because being able to access your things quickly, securely, and be able to maximize your capacity is the most important thing. If you want to do this as carry-on, a lot of people online has been reviewed to say that this fits perfectly on carry-on luggage. Um, one important feature that I really wanted to have was being able to hold a tripod, but I don't want some dinky little tripod holder. And I know that this looks a little bit intimidating or a little bit weird as a design feature, but it actually helps you maximize your customizability on your backpack. So I'm gonna show you a way of how to mount your tripod in any kind of section you want. In the backpack, it comes with a package like this. Now, I'm not sponsored by Low Pro. This is a comprehensive personal review of this product. Now I'm not too sure if this is the best purchase for a camera gear backpack, but I know that having customizability and ruggedness is a big plus. So hopefully this backpack, if I use it on the go, will eventually become my favorite backpack as opposed to my old backpack, which I will show you in a little bit. So in the backpack, it comes with three different pouches. This one's one of them, there's another, and then there's another. Um, they all do different types of customizability. So the one thing that I'm really interested in is the tripod holder. So Low Pro designed this kind of new mechanism where you basically take Velcro, you rip it off, you have this strap here, and it goes right onto your backpack, like that, and then you would be able to put your tripod right in there you grab your harness in like that. You pull the strap to make sure it's secure, lock it in, and now you got your tripod holder. That's one of the advantages to this backpack and its customizability. Another feature is also in its name, 450AW, AW as in all weather. And if you pull this bottom part out, you actually get a built-in weather sealing um, bag and it wraps around the entire backpack like this and you get it all uh, rainproof waterproof whatever and when you're done you take it out okay flick off the water 
come back in and put it back in. This backpack is so dope. I definitely can see myself use this every day. I definitely think that this backpack will be more comfortable to use than my old backpack. Now I'm gonna show you my old backpack. This, this is my old backpack, okay? My old backpack has the exact same features. It has the side access pocket, which I love from this backpack, okay? And I can fit my camera and take it out as fast as possible. And I can access the camera compartment right away if I wanted to. Like right here. I can put my camera here, take out my lenses. and the, But the problem is I always use the side compartment and the front compartment. And if I use my side and front all the time, what happens is sometimes I forget to close the side compartment. One time I had my side compartment open and I put my entire camera setup in here and I wore my backpack like it was already closed and my camera flew out of my backpack and my camera crashed onto the ground. And this backpack has a two zipper function, all right? This backpack has a two zipper function, meaning I can do it at any, at any angle I want and be able to get this, uh, access this side compartment. Another good feature about this old backpack is having the laptop compartment built into the top but I cannot access the entire inside of my backpack right away like this backpack can. But this backpack is still a good budget backpack if you ever ever want to purchase one. But don't carry too much heavy stuff on it because what happens is the strap deteriorates. This strap is such a bad strap. If this backpack cuts into my shoulder and it really gives me discomfort while I'm traveling and especially if you're traveling long, long route. Um, the other thing is this backpack, the mounting points at the bottom that hold everything together in terms of weight is held by this car carabiner, carbiner or whatever you call it and this O-ring and they're both plastic. If they break, have to use it on one strap and it basically makes you feel like you're holding a heck a lot on a, such a small Joint. The new, more rugged version of this backpack. This backpack is held onto by an actual mounting point onto the bag, and the straps very thick and secure, and doesn't look like it will bend in and cut into my shoulder. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna switch over all my stuff in this backpack to this backpack, and hopefully I made the right choice by purchasing this a little bit more expensive backpack because, because like I said, a backpack is a videographer slash photographer's most important tool. Having this might make my work life a little bit more easier as opposed to having this. So yeah, I'm looking forward to using this backpack. If I do have any issues or any problems, I'll definitely bring it back up on this vlog. And I'm going to be switching over my items now from this bag to this bag. Okay, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this backpack. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Peace.